Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Tyler Perry Sisters Season 6 Episode 8. Y'all, I had to re-record the video. So, I need y'all to do me a solid because I'm recording video after video after video and I need y'all help. Y'all know I'm trying to grow my channel. So, if you could hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe, I would truly appreciate it, alright? So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, we start off with Fatima. Still crying over Zach. Lord, I'm so sick of seeing her cry over this man. Fatima asks Andy for the ring back because she's going to give it back to Zach and leave him. Girl, keep the ring for your troubles. <laughs> so Andy wants them to stay together for some strange reason. Talking about they give her hope. Hope for what? Pain and suffering? <laughs> struggle and strife? This is struggle, love it. It's finest. Um, when Fatima said, I'm just tired, Andy, I felt that. Okay. So <laughs> Gary shows up and I'm sick of him. Why is he in every scene? And he basically got his little feelings hurt when she told him the truth the other day. But Andy is doubling down on what she said when she said he only good for the D. Gary comes back and says, well, she's trash in bed. Um, it was good enough to buy penthouse. He's a little liar. <laughs> So, he tells her, like, look, I know that's turning you on, Andrea Barnes. And he was right. I guess a man saying you trash in bed turns you on. Please, Tyler, make it make sense. So, he like, I'm coming over at 8. And she's like, make it 9.30. This, him, Tyler don't even try to make this realistic no more. What is going on? So, Gary comes to Hayden's office again. Why are you still here? Like, where do you work? What do you have to do? Tamara leaves and Gary tells Hayden that he couldn't find nothing but Gary, but uh, Hayden still needs to get that annulment because in 30 days she could take him for half of everything he got she gonna ride him 30 days out okay um, he ain't gonna get that annulment but why couldn't he simply get a post nub like why was that not an option and where's Robin hmm. <laughs> so Karen is at go to a coffee shop Look like the same one Aaron was at. I don't know if it's the only coffee shop in town or what's going on. And Karen reminisces over them going there on their second date. They go down memory lane. And Karen's thirsty self said that's how she knew Zach was the one. And Zach like, okay. The feeling's not mutual. <laughs> he said, I'm with Fatima and you with the preacher man. Karen said, I ain't with him. <laughs> okay, okay, heard you. Zach said, it don't matter because I'm with Fatima. But he did say multiple times, he's like, I love you, but I'm with Fatima. I love you, but I don't want to be with you. I Stop telling her you love her. You don't got to keep saying you love her to get your point across. Goodness. Um, he needs to make it clear that he's in love with Fatima and stop telling her he loves her. It's giving mixed signals. It's giving her false hope. So Karen tells him she wants to take, uh, she wants him to take her home and make love to her. With that loose man's baby in you, I mean, girl, get some dignity. Zach tells her, like, look, I'm going to marry Fatima and we're going to have a family. A blended one, if that baby mine. <laughs> and Karen was like, so you just going to pretend like me and this baby don't exist? He said, I don't even know if that's my baby. Child, we don't even know if there's a baby at this point. When is she going to tell the father? It's, it's, it's tired. We running this storyline dry. <laughs> so she was like, you know what? I'm going to leave the door open. So you know what to do because you don't got no key no more. So just come on in. <sighs> Why are you going to leave that door open? Shout out to Bruno Mars. Close it. Whose baby is it, okay? We're not going to keep glossing over that. So over on the other side, Preston is at Danny's house cooking topless. <laughs> where does he live? We don't never see these men's homes besides Maurice. Like, where does he live? Danny wants to give things a try, finally. And Preston wants to take her on a nice date, finally. <laughs> Tired of seeing him in that kitchen. Sabrina tells Calvin and Maurice that she tried to talk to Q. This is a waste of a scene. Just like it was a waste of time for her to talk to Q. Um, Andy called Sabrina and told her to tell Danny that they all need to meet at Karen's. And Sabrina tells Calvin she got to go. And he mentions bio. And he apologizes for tripping. But, I mean, Sabrina, you might have to end this friendship with him. Because this ain't working. <laughs> Maurice pops up on cue at the airport again because he ain't got nothing else to do. And a woman was picking Q up. 
Because one thing Q going to do, no matter how raggedy he is, he going to find him one, okay? Maurice told her he a thief, got STDs. Lord, have mercy. And she still pulled off with him, so you wasting your time, brother. So Fatima finally tells Zach how she feels and that she was hurt. Zach was like, I love Karen. Here we go again. I don't want to hear him say he loved Karen ever again. She's like, I know. Damn. <laughs> and he's like, but I'm not in love with her. Zach tells Fatima all the details of him and Karen's conversation. Every detail. And he said he's not going over there because he's in love with Fatima. And Zach said, um, you know, he never lost anyone before. He didn't know how to act. And I'll give him that. I, I, if I lost... If I found out um, I lost one of my exes, I would probably react the same way. See, the thing is, he took it a little too far. He didn't just embarrass Fatima in front of everybody because he definitely did that. Then he turned around. He going, sneaking on the phone, telling Karen he loved her, meeting her at the coffee shop, helping her pay for stuff. What is go taking it too far? The lady's alive and well, so I don't understand. Anyway. <laughs> so, Zach asked for grace because Fatima was looking the same way with Ian. And I'm assuming that's her ex from Zatima. So he like, look, I want you. I, I love you. I want to be with you. But I ain't begging you no more. And when he said he ain't begging no more, she heard him put that ring back on. They kissed and made up. And that part was very sweet. Give us Gave us the old Zatima feels we used to get. So the sisters pop up at Karen's. And she wants them to leave because Zach coming over. My man, my man, my man is coming. Karen knew how it felt when Zach cheated on her, but she don't mind when them tables turn, doing it to another woman. She trifling for that. <clears throat> so, she like, why are y'all here? <laughs> um, she think that Andy, that Fatima told Andy, nope, Zach told her. <laughs> so, it suddenly in walks Fatima. And ain't no way, under any circumstance, do you ever walk in somebody's house, okay? You just don't do that. But that's where the episode ends. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode. It's said to be continued. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.